Hi there, students. Hi, Jinx. OK, hi, Jinx are playful behaviour, energetic behaviour where people are really excited and people do funny things or they play tricks on someone. Maybe also sometimes a little bit badly behaved. But hijinks, it, it's, it doesn't have uh, bad intentions. Hijinks is to have a good time and uh, maybe play some pranks on somebody. So the kids are always up to hijinks. OK, they're always doing uh, slightly naughty things. Yeah, they're ha having uh, fun. They're up to their antics. Yeah, they're on an escapade. Yeah, they're um, having a lark, perhaps. OK, so lively, excited behaviour. Um, he's up to his hijinks again. Notice I've used it twice now with this verb to be up to, to be doing, to be doing something that's, well, maybe not exactly perfect. Um, the uh, politicians seem to be up to hijinks again. Yeah, uh, maybe they're doing something that they shouldn't be. Uh, or, yeah, they, they were definitely uh, hijinks at number 10 Downing Street and uh, Bojo seems to be in trouble about it. So, hijinks, unrestrained fun, celebration, merrymaking. OK, so that's the idea. Tricky behaviour, but mischief as well. Shenanigans is a really good uh, synonym as well. So it can either work in two ways, something that's boisterous uh, and lively fun, but maybe on the other hand it's a little bit mischievous and naughty as well. Yeah, doing something that maybe you shouldn't be doing. OK, so yeah, um, high, high jinks in high places. Um, the kids in the playground were uh, uh, having high jinks. Yeah, they were uh, in the middle of high jinks. OK, so to jink, J-I-N-K. To jink is a quick, Im evasive move. Um, he jinked. And the other player ran past him without even ca without uh, even running into him. So a quick evasive turn to avoid a pursuer, yeah, or maybe to avoid uh, things that are being thrown at you as well, yeah. So to jink, to elude, or maybe to cheat as well. So he seems to have uh, jinked the. Uh, um, spirit of the law by using the letter of the law. Notice a jinx, J-I-N-X, I've got a, a video about this. A jinx is something that uh, doesn't, that brings bad luck, okay? So that's completely different. Notice you can spell high jinx in, in various ways. Um, I've noticed the Americans like to use H-I instead of high. And you can use it with a hyphen or even as one word as well. But I would go for two words separated, high jinx. So the jinx tricks and high, well, a lot of them. So wh when was the last time you were up to high jinx? Yeah, high jinx are going on. Yeah, so there are uh, high jinx afoot happening <laughs> in... Uh, the in Buckingham Palace, yeah, there are uh, there were high jinks at the um village festival, yeah. Um, I think uh, that those two are off on uh, off going to uh, perform some high jinks. So, formality, um, this is informal, I'd give it a four in formality. Use it in an informal conversation, but not in a semi-formal writing, OK? Um, and then as to origin, well, to jink, I think this the, the origin of this is probably onomatopoeia, yeah? It's an onomatopoeia for the motion, the jink motion, perhaps. I don't, I don't know. 
Um, so, yeah, there were high jinks afoot. Sounds like a great sentence. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hi, Jinx.